Hey guys, I got another one for you today. So honestly, I'm going to go on a bit of a rant today. And I think some of you really need to hear this. So I'm going to start off with a quote. And some of you may have heard this quote. It's been said several times, but everybody gets Bitcoin at the price that they deserve. And it may seem harsh, that quote, but it really does hold true. How much you directly understand this space and how much is directly correlated to how much you have invested. And so if you haven't done the homework, I can almost guarantee you probably don't have a whole lot invested into it. Those of us who truly understand where this is going, it is mind boggling. There are people taking out debt against their companies to buy more Bitcoin. And I'm talking not just a little bit, hundreds of millions of dollars against their companies to stack sats. And so I just want to ignite this urgency in you. If you haven't started investing yet in this space, my goodness, I, I, I got a doozy for you today. So I'm having the same conversation I feel like over and over with buddies of mine from back in the day. And they're telling me, you know, when did you, when did you know, when did the light bulb go off? And I said, honestly, man, it took hours. I mean, I'm not even exaggerating, probably a hundred hours of reading. And like, what, you know, why are so many people interested in this space? Why is it becoming this, uh, this asset class that it conversations is. Conversations that I'm having that are continually, it's it's like having the same conversation over, right? Somebody may ask you for advice and you're like, you know what? And it, honestly, it's so much easier, right? You're fixing other people's problems. And you're like, you know, well, how about, have you tried this? And then, you know, it's easy, we're quick to give that advice. And so I feel like the same thing is occurring and these same conversations are happening that I've had in the last, you know, two bull runs. And it's like, yes, I think you should have bought Bitcoin last time. Um, we talked, you know, friends, family, and, you know, they get to this point where like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm too late. You guys, I am so freaking stoked for the future and what is coming to this space. The point of this video is really to create almost hopefully like an urgency within you um, to just take action. And so I feel like I'm, well, one, let me tell you, first off, you are not too late. You guys, Bitcoin is on a trajectory to continue to go up. Truly, I believe for the next 10 years. And what I mean by that, this, this asset has only been around for 15 years, like since inception, since it's been created. And so 15 years is not a long time. If you compare it to like other stores of value, like gold, gold has been around for millennia. Like, and we have surpassed silver, silver to gold, silver. We have passed that already as far as asset class allocation and the value of. So what is coming to this class? I'm still that crazy Bitcoin bull. I am that guy who, you know, has been advocating for so many years for friends and family known as like the Bitcoin evangelist. I was a nut job to my friends and family. They literally thought I lost my mind. They're like, what is the matter with that guy? I'm telling you guys, the direct correlation of how much you understand this space is directly to how much you have allocated. And so, um, I guess the thing I'm trying to say is I am so freaking excited right now because I know it's coming. Like when you just, you know, the writing's on the wall. When you look at like the future and what it holds for this asset, it is so, it's mind boggling. And so I remember friends of mine that I, they thought that I lost my mind. At that time, I don't think I realized how early I actually was. And if that makes any sense. And so that's kind of the premise of what I want to hang today's conversation on. At whatever point you buy Bitcoin, awesome. Awesome. Don't worry about, oh, you got it at this price and I bought it at that price. It has not, this is not a, a, a competition. If you, if you think about it that way, Bitcoin, you will get it at the price that you deserve. And what that means really is maybe it didn't, it hasn't come into your sphere of influence. Maybe nobody around you had talked about it or had allocated to it themselves. And so that is okay. If you hold this asset for more than four years, you can almost guarantee adding a zero to the value. And I know I've said that before. So you guys, I'm still that crazy guy. My, I guess my biggest question to you is, what, what more convincing do you need? Like really, how much more convincing, when you think about who is, is allocating to this, there's a company known as Saudi Aramco. They're literally within the top, I wanna say top five most um, valued companies on the planet. Like this is, we're talking like Saudi, um, Saudi Arabia's uh, private company uh, for oil. Like talk about like energy. You got to be kidding me. Like this company and you don't, don't believe me. Look it up. Go look. Um, 
you guys, we've got private companies, like I said, taking out debt against it. We've got um, pension funds, like I said, that are gonna allocate to it. Again, they don't, insurance companies, these pension funds, they don't invest in things that aren't gonna be around for a long time. They invest for the future. That's literally by design what they're for. Um, we've got millionaires allocating. We've got billionaires allocating. Um, university endowments, which obviously they look way, way into the future. The Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, like people that literally own, you know, parts of New York City and massive swaths of property throughout major cities throughout the U.S. Um, and around the globe, actually. And don't forget, guys, governments, like, you know, they, governments are literally mining and buying Bitcoin, I guarantee, more than we know on the down low. And so... When you, when you think about it, the crowds are coming. Like these, the big, big guys are getting in, right? They're getting their bags full. And so this, it's kind of staring you right in the face. This shift in economic policy, like with, with all these institutions and governments and everybody allocating, like they, they take a long time, if you think, to pivot, right? They take a, a, quite a while. It's like an oar on a massive ship, right? Or the, I'm sorry, the, the rudder. It, it turns, but then it's not, it's not immediate. This isn't a speedboat, right? It doesn't turn around right away. When they move that rudder, which we can see that they're starting to allocate, that ship takes a long time to turn around. The same thing with large institutions. It takes a long time. They need data and research to show. And so, again, we've only got three months, like I said, since January 10th that these ETFs have been allocated to. So get ahead of the curve. Get in do it what are you waiting for and so i guess the reason that i'm so excited is because i've seen this change already it has changed my life and i want it to change yours and so first and foremost you know things are bad out there and i get it um you know i think the vast majority of americans right now i think there was a study that showed almost 78 percent of people don't have anything saved for retirement that is that is heart-wrenching you guys and so let's just say you did get to 0 0.1 Bitcoin, right? One tenth of a Bitcoin. That is, what is that? 10,000 sats. You guys, if it holds true to what some of these asset managers, and I'm talking, these are the people that know how much money is flowing in. There is a recent update to one of the Bitcoin um, uh, CEO of the ETF. I'm not going to bring up a name. But they stated almost a $3.8 million Bitcoin in four to eight years. Do you have the patience to put in, what is that? I don't know, nine, ten thousand $10,000 right now and wait for that to go up to three hundred and eighty? dollars I mean, think about that. That's life-changing money. And so, yes, it may be outside of your reach right now to ever get a full Bitcoin. And that's okay. I don't want you to think that you're too late. You are not too late. You know, I've seen these YouTube channels saying, oh, you know, it's, can you retire on Bitcoin? Hell yeah, you can. You can definitely put money in and have that allocate towards your, your retirement. And if not, look at it as generational wealth, something that you're going to hand down. Get, I think your first goal should be to get to 1 million Satoshis. Again, there's 100 million in one Bitcoin. If you could get to 1 one hundredth of a Bitcoin, which is 0 0.01 Bitcoin, awesome, awesome. You're chipping away at it. You know, keep stacking sats. Don't worry about the price. And again, this is money that you um, don't need, don't need right now. And so, you know, you're considering this for the future, right? And again, I, my hope is that it'll get to a point where in four to eight years, we can basically take out loans against this, you know, something that we don't need. And so what I mean by that is we'll be able to put it up on a platform and actually get a passive income from it. And that's the hope. Um, now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you here in some ways, you guys. Those of you who may spend too much. Study stated also, it talked about like the amount of emergency funds that people have. Some don't even have $1,000 in the bank account in case something happens. First and foremost, don't invest in anything. Get an emergency fund right, built up. Once that's there and you feel comfortable, you got that emergency fund built up. And again, I'm going to give you some tips here. How old is your car? If you, and again, this, this may sting some of you. If your car is one to two years old, why? Why? And if you're going to give me give me an excuse that, oh, I need a reliable vehicle, that, sorry, not listening to it. There are a ton of cars that are five, seven, even eight years old that are extremely reliable that get you back and forth to work that you know you can get rid of that car payment. Okay? That's one way you can do. You can, uh, you know, here's a great question. How about your TV? How old is your TV? 
Have you bought a TV in the last couple, I don't know, couple of years? My TV, I can guarantee, I know when I bought it, 2009. I know, I'm not embarrassed, you kidding me? That thing still works. I, I, you know, this is not a plug for Samsung, but Samsung's a good TV. Um, subscriptions, you guys, how many, how many magazines or TV, Hulu, Netflix, Amazon? I mean, how much TV do you really watch, right? And is that educational, right? Are you put the time in to learn more about this asset? Again, I'm a coffee. Do you go out to coffee? How much? Oh my gosh. If you guys are going up at Starbucks or going to your local shop, come on, buy a Keurig and start making it at home. 25 cents a cup. Don't be spending this nonsense. $5 a cup of coffee. It's, it's a ludicrous. Again, what you're doing is you're adding more money to your account that you can actually allocate to assets, to investing, to saving. Um, let me think here. Your rent or mortgage, and this is a big decision. If your rent or mortgage, you guys, is more than half of what you make, you need to, one, you need to find a roommate. You need to do something for your living situation. If you're spending half of your paycheck on your rent, and I'm talking about the month, that, that's too much. You need to figure out, and I, don't quote me here, you can look this up, um, but there's a certain percentage that most experts you know, recommend allocating to. And so, if you own your home and you got to, you know, apps, that's amazing. Stay in that thing forever, right? Like the current interest rates are nuts. But anyway, lastly, I was going to say, talk about eating out. How often do you eat out? Get that crock pot. If you don't own one and you can't afford a crock pot, go to your Goodwill. I guarantee you could find a crock pot, a couple bucks, throw your meat, potatoes, whatever you want in there. By the time you come home, you get a fresh home cooked meal that's healthy. You guys, you need to start making little decisions and choices in your life that are gonna improve your future. Uncle Sam is not gonna help you retire. They will not print enough money for you to retire. You need to take care of yourself and you need to take care of your family. Start allocating to this asset class. And again, it's not financial advice. It's simply what I've seen happen, what I'm doing and what's been working. Guys, I hope you like this type of content. And hope you don't think that this is like me yelling at you, but I really, I want to encourage you. You are never, never, never too late in this asset for the next 10 years. And you, we're literally, if this is a 10 story building, we've just entered the building. We haven't even hit the stairwell. I'm telling you, this asset's going to continue to roar for the next 10 years. Start allocating soon. All right, guys, chat soon.